Just a day after a five-year-old girl was killed by a dog at her grandmother's home, a Tyneside woman has survived an attack by a bull mastiff, which then killed her own pet. Angela Graham says it's lucky that her eight-year-old son, who was walking with her in a Northumberland park when the dog attacked, wasn't seriously injured or even killed. And as Siobhan Casey reports, she's calling for the animal to be destroyed. Some people may find pictures in this report disturbing. Angela Graham is still in severe shock. Not only has she been left cut and bruised herself, she's also been left with the horrific images of her tiny dog being literally torn apart by a bull mastiff. But Angela's grief is coupled with an overwhelming sense of relief. Relief that her eight-year-old son, Lawrence, wasn't also injured or even killed. It started out with an innocent walk by the river in Prudder in Northumberland. It was, it was snarling and frothing and growling and I showed her the bay and just run. And he ran to the other people who were there with the children. And it, it just grabbed me dog. It had it pinned down on its back and it was biting at its neck. And I tried to get it off, but it started to bite me. I know that it was biting my arm and it sort of bit at my leg. And at that point, I thought, I've got to let go of my dog. I couldn't do anything to save her. My mum told us to run when she saw it panting and growling. And it bit my mum really hard and I had to run to these other people. And how did you feel? I didn't feel very happy. And this is the dog that attacked Mrs Graham, one-year-old Hooch, a bull mastiff which its owner describes as a big softy. He got it from a cat and dog shelter in Newcastle, and although he knew it had been abandoned, half starved to death, he knows little more about its background. The dog is owned by 21-year-old Andrew Harrison, who lives here in this flat in Pudder. Now, although he did allow us in to take pictures of the dog, he didn't want to appear on camera himself. But he did tell me that he didn't believe the animal was dangerous, and so he wasn't even considering having it destroyed. Northumbria Police have now launched an investigation. They could now apply for a control order, meaning the dog would have to be placed under control in all public places. Or they could also apply for Hooch to be destroyed. Just yesterday, five-year-old Ellie Lawrenson was killed by her uncle's pit bull terrier on Merseyside. Her family had been warned twice before about the dog's behaviour. I want it destroyed. The man said he's not going to have it destroyed because it's never done it before. But that little girl on the telly, that dog had attacked another dog. And he didn't think that would do it. Well, as the region saw...